just like heaps of swell yeah. down there too. Dude, it's cooking down there. No way. Dude, big school of Mackies swimming through. So we've just got out to the reef, just crossed the bar. It was um, pretty gnarly bar crossing. Still a fair bit of swell out here. Yeah, I'm just diving today with Reese and just anchored up. We just saw a few mackerel crews under the boat, so I'm gonna kit up and hopefully get some. Hey, my my um, flopper wasn't opening. It opened, but it was wedged shut. That's why I would have lost that cobia. How long do you reckon we've been diving for? An hour. <laughs> Backed out. Backed out in 10 minutes or something. <laughs> <laughs> I know.
probably actually just putty it up. Alright, I wouldn't worry about it. Maybe put a little bit of gel coat on. Perfect size mackerel. Yeah, not too big for the esky. Now I'm a sig. Epic session. We both got three mackerel each, which is the bag limit. We're just getting schooled by mackerel. So sick. That's so much fun. And I'm spewing. I lost that big cobia. That was a big fish, probably 15, 20 kilos. I thought I had a pretty good shot on it, but my flopper didn't open. When I shot my, I think, second or third mackerel, I think it was my second mackerel, uh, I stoned it. And I saw my shaft go through, but the flopper didn't engage. So I sort of started swimming after the fish because I thought it was going to pop off. And luckily I sort of tugged on the um, line and it sort of opened. But um, yeah, spewing about that cobia. That was a good fish. Oh, well, next time. I'm going to just go to the servo, get some ice, get these fish nice and cold, and then I'll fill it them up and have some nice fresh sashimi. So keen. Hey guys, so I just got home. Just gonna fill it up these fish now. They've been on ice for a couple of hours, just uh, cooling down. It just makes it a bit easier to fill it when the flesh is nice and firm. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. We're gonna have so much meat. Alrighty, finally finished filleting all those fish. Took me quite a while and there is so much meat. This is just one of the trays, but that's just bulk meat. So what I'm gonna do, leave it in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna uh, vacuum seal it all in portions for maybe like a meal for two or three people uh, and then freeze it. That's so crazy. The first two shelves of the fridge are just full of mackerel. I don't think my roommates will be too impressed with the place smelling like fish, but it's gonna feed us for quite a while. Man, what an epic session. That's just, to be schooled by mackerel like that is crazy. I was just taking a pick. I was just waiting for a nice fish to swim past by the end of it. So sick. Gonna keep some of these frames for crab pot bait too. So it'd be nice to get a big muddy as well. And you kind of like, yeah, it's just So I just finished vacuum sealing all that fish. I'm gonna be giving a lot of it away and freezing a fair bit of it, so it should last me quite a while. So I've got a beautiful fillet of um, Spanish mackerel here that I'll use for a bit of sashimi. 
get a bit of soy sauce and we'll try it. Oh, oh that is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tender. That's beautiful. I wish you guys could try that. <laughs> Got the goods. Yeah, that is yummy. That is some good shit. Yeah. Yum. I never said I was good at this. Ah. Uh, Got a beautiful plate of sashimi. Let's dig in. Wait, let me. <laughs> I don't want to come off. <laughs> Here we go. Just a little bit of that, and just a tad of wasabi. That's mm. What do you think? Beautiful? That's some good shit. Yeah, it's fresh. Lil's turn. So good. Oh, wow. Chazzy. That was so funny. <laughs> Just dip it in. Yeah. Bit of wasabi on the side if you want. Good. good. That's good. <laughs> good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. That is so good. You gotta be there as well. Alright, so we're in the kitchen, we're gonna make fish tacos. I've um sort of cut the fish into thin strips like that. Just gonna chuck them in a Tupperware container. Put a bit of this on there, southern fried chicken. Just whack the whole damn thing in there. Just a little bit of flour. flour. <laughs> and shake it up so it gets all coated nice. Yeah. Mm. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I want that one. Is Sean's world famous salsa? World famous. It's pretty juicy today, actually. Yeah. It is? Alright, taste testing the Spanish on. mackerel yeah. uh, taco. Depends where you're from. Mmm. That's good. 